I'm gonna show you how you can recreate the crazy title reveal from the game Black Myth Wukong. It's pretty simple. So first thing first, you'll have to open After Effects. Make sure to create a new composition. Click on OK. Now what you're gonna do is simply create a solid. So right click on this tab right there and click on Solid. Now click on OK. Now what you're gonna do is simply import the logo of your choice. So I'm gonna import the logo of the game right there. Now what I'm gonna do is simply import the ink overlay that I downloaded from YouTube. Um, I'm just gonna import it inside of my composition. And now what I'm gonna do is simply scroll through the video to see what kind of ink effect that I want. So it's gonna take me a couple of time to see what ink overlay that I will prefer. So I'm gonna speed this part up a little bit. So after hours of searching, which is not the case at all, I found the overlay that I want. So I'm just gonna simply get rid of the parts before the overlay that I want, and I'm simply gonna cut uh, where it ends, like that. Now what I'm gonna do is simply add an effect called Luma Key on it. I'm gonna apply it, and I'm simply gonna put it on Key Out Brighter, and I'm gonna make sure that we only see the black like that so now i'm gonna simply position it so basically how it works the logo will only appear in the black parts once we're done with the animation so i'm simply gonna pull out another ink overlay and i'm simply gonna put it right there i'm gonna apply the same effect that i added in the other overlay and i'm simply gonna position it as well and just make sure that the whole logo is covered because the parts of the logo that is not covered in black will be invincible. And I also don't want the two overlays to come at the same time, so I'm simply gonna delay the second one. And when you're happy with your positioning, what you can do is simply go in there and make sure that the track math of the overlays are linked to the logo of your choice. For my case, it will be the game's logo. And if we play the animation, as you can see, it gives us a really good ink appearing effect. And let's not forget the smoke, so I'm simply going to search for a smoke overlay that I have in my folders. I'm going to simply import it in my composition. And as you can see, the smoke is green, which is what I do not want. So what I'm going to do is simply add an effect. I'm gonna add a black and white effect to the video. So I'm simply gonna go in there, search for a black and white effect and apply it. Now I'll simply put the smoke a little bit brighter. So I'll put a brightness and contrast effect on it and put the brightness up like this and also the contrast. Now I'm gonna simply search for a part of the overlay that I really like and that is similar enough to the game's title reveal. Now what I'm gonna do is simply change the layer mode from normal to screen. And now what I'm gonna do is simply click on T to pull out the opacity uh, values. And I'll simply add some keyframes to put the opacity of it at zero so that the smoke doesn't last forever. As you can see, we already got a clean animation. It's basically done. But the only problem is that the overlays are, are disappearing. So the logo is also disappearing. So to fix that, what we're gonna have to do is simply chop the last part of where the overlay is still appearing. So do that for both of the overlays. And on these little tiny parts, you're gonna right click on them, click on time, and then freeze frame. And what you're gonna do with that is simply stretch it out. And do the same for the second one. Freeze frame and stretch it out. So as you can see, it was pretty easy to do. And if you want more videos of this kind, subscribe to my YouTube channel.